I think this defense is a problem. Um, and here's why. I think the wide nine isn't working anymore. Like the Niners can't stop the run. They're giving up five yards of carry with this wide nine stuff. And then the pass rush isn't working either. I mean, they couldn't get anything against Aaron Rodgers. And I think what you're seeing is in the run game, uh, it's so spread out that the defensive tackles can't keep their ground. Like none of them. Javon Kinlaw, DJ Jones are all getting washed out of the play um, just by alignment. And then, and then more importantly on pass rush downs, uh, what we're seeing is teams, Packers in particular, all you got to do is put a tight end over by the wide nine defensive end because that guy's so far away from the ball. Uh, just put a tight end there and, and hit him as he, as he's as the play starts. And that throws off Bosa's timing. It throws off Ford's timing. It, it slows him down. And that's what they did repeatedly uh, in the Packers game on that fi- on that second to final throw to Adams over the middle. That was like 20-something yards. He did that to Bosa and Ford, and they were nowhere. I don't think this wide nine is helping at all. In fact, I think it's – making the Niners defense look worse than it is. And I'm curious to see if D'Amico can adjust. You feel me? Mm, I'm not sure if he can adjust right now. I'm not sure he can adjust either. I think that this team is missing uh, more than they expected. Yeah. Uh, This wide nine thing has been a gimmick that really hasn't worked throughout the league. You have camera problems. I have internet connection problems. Yeah, I know, right? I know. I keep going out of t- I keep going out of focus because I'm so my takes are so hot. Like the I mean, the camera just can't even see me. I'm so on fire. Anyway, I'm I'm thinking this wide nine is going to continue to get gashed. Like, what's what's going to happen if they play the wide nine against Seattle? It's going to be it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. Just saying. That was you. Uh oh. I mean, I mean, this team will struggle against the Seattle uh, with with the lack of cornerbacks against DK Metcalf, against Tyler Rock- Lockett. Uh, in the history of the Kyle Shanahan era, we are struggling about, uh, against scrambling quarterbacks. Uh, we don't really have a pass rush right now. We have a rookie defensive coordinator. They will tear us apart. In my opinion, we will lose against Seattle. And uh, Kai Shanahan just have to make a miracle next game to to make me believe that that this team is still a playoff contender. Real quick, Botan, tell me if you're with me on this, but it seems to me like the wide nine, I, I don't see why they need to use it. For D Ford, I think it was a good way to use him because he's more like he's built like a th- like a three, four outside linebacker. And if you make him like a real four, three D end, he'll get pushed around the run game. But if you play him so far out there, he can play a little bit more like an outside linebacker and close the space with his quickness off the snap. But Nick Bosa, he doesn't need to be that far out there. I mean, he wants to get in tight, right? I mean, he's got short arms. He wants to get underneath guys pads. I don't see how it helps Bosa to be that far out there. It just makes it easier to chip him, in my opinion. Uh, as I said before, and I wrote, I even wrote an article to SI that um, part of the defensive line dominance was DeForest Buckner. And right now we are still missing a guy who can make real pressure from the inside of the defensive line. Um, because of him, could be both are so successful. Because when you are in the inside of the offensive line, you are just buying some time for yourself and the quarterback has to decide uh, that which side he wants to flee from uh, the pressure coming from the inside. And on those plays, he could both uh, make sex. Right now, I don't think that uh, we should use wide nine formation because there's not uh, there's no one who can be close to that greatness that DeForest Buckner has and had back then in 2019. Um, that's why this team has to consider changing uh, the, the front seven or the style, how we are playing um, on the defensive side of the ball. Final thing I want to say real quick, we'll move on. Um, another reason why the defense is a problem. We're all saying like, okay, they need to adjust this. They need to fix that. Why nine's not working. Got to help Mick Bosa. They have a rookie defensive coordinator. I mean, adjusting on the fly isn't going to be his strength. 
that's something that comes with experience. Yeah. It wasn't Salah's strength until about year three, maybe year four. So uh, don't expect a lot of adjustments to happen overnight. And I think that's another reason why this defense is a problem. Like the Niners are so worried about playing a rookie at quarterback, but they willingly gave themselves a rookie defensive coordinator. That's a pretty important position. So, yeah, I do think the defense is a problem. Happy Gilmore says Kyle is the reason the Niners is hurting. Well, he's the head coach. 